What's up, Taurus? I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. Let's see what messages do we have for you. Don't forget to like the video if you feel it resonates. And also, um, okay, so riches just flew over. Order and enterprise. Okay, so it looks like you may be getting back to doing something that you have already done, okay? Something that you're really used to doing. It's like something is not new, something is old news. So you're gonna gain a lot of um, wealth or abundance or peace, balance, however, you know, it comes to you. I just heard however it flows to you. Okay, so something has to do with like a current or yeah, I'm hearing currency. Okay, but something is like um, a part of your routine. Yeah, you're going to gain riches. We have Saturn in Capricorn and Moon in Scorpio. I'm sorry, Moon in Virgo. Yeah, and then we have Enterprise in the reverse. So um, tell me a little more about Enterprise in the reverse. We have intuition, inheritance, and choice. Yeah, so you have this choice. We got um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra here. You have like a a choice to... Um, something is intuitive. You feel intuitively that you're not supposed to go on this direction or go in a certain way. Some type of new plan. Okay, you can feel that. You know you have a choice. You can go right or you can go left. You've never been left before. You always do. You always go right. <laughs> you should stay with right, okay? Tell me more about this over here, riches in order. Look at you, exactly. Saturn and, and Taurus, ostentation. Okay, so this is, um yeah, sticking to the tried and true, baby. It's going to bring you some abundance here. Sticking to the try and true, sticking to something that seems to take a lot of patience. It's going to bring you um, riches. Anyway, we have Saturn in, we have another Saturn in Capricorn. Okay, Saturn in Capricorn. So Saturn talks about, you know, life lessons, lessons that have to be made. Okay, so, and then we have order here. So something is like, you know, you're like learning a hard lesson about something. I don't know if it's hard. I just feel like I'm just hearing sticking to your energy or sticking to, yeah, like <laughs> I'm hearing don't go chasing waterfalls. One second. I'm hearing don't go chasing waterfalls, okay? Stick to the rivers that you're used to. Okay, let's get some tarot out. We have revenge, Mars and Scorpio. Like you may have wanted to get revenge or you may have wanted something at a cost like quick money or something seems like it would have come at a cost okay i wanted to use these okay let's use the spellcasters tarot for this message for Taurus. Jupiter is still in Taurus. Hmm. Jupiter doesn't always bring, you know, people like to think of Jupiter as like abundance and, you know, but Jupiter is an abundance of anything. Abundance does not always mean financial abundance, you know, luxury, love, whatever. Abundance can mean an abundance of anything, right? What are these messages for Taurus? We have the lovers. This is a lot, but I feel like we sh we're supposed to take it, okay? And we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, a decision, you're juggling something. Yeah, the ace of pentacles here. Okay. The lovers, the three of cups, 
the strength, the seven of pentacles. You guys tell me in the comments if y'all like to see the cards or not, okay? These messages are for you. So let me know, you know, what you feel you would prefer. So then we have the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, this is your energy kind of at the bottom of these cards that are coming out. Very, um, a lot of pentacles, a lot of stability. We also have the seven of pentacles. You're showing up really strong. All right, but there's this choice or this direction. I'm hearing something is calling you. The three of cups could be some type of celebration that you're thinking about considering or doing something to celebrate, doing something to um, go out of your usual routine. Oh my God, I keep hearing every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Yeah, it's like something keeps pulling you back. Whatever is pulling you back from doing something, you should listen to it. All right is what I'm getting here, okay? Something is, it's like, whatever is telling you to stick to whatever you usually do, I feel like that's what you should be doing right now. Uh, what is this strength card? The Page of Swords. Okay, there could be a Leo watching you or um, people watching your image, you know, Leo energy, people watching you. You may feel like there's a lot of eyes on you, a lot of attention on you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there you are. I feel like there's a lot of eyes on you, but everybody's kind of slow to give you some type of love or give you some type of attention. Yeah, the hermit. Yeah, it's like somebody is secretly watching you or see, I don't know. Maybe this is you. What's the three of cups? The seven of swords. Yeah, some type of plan. It's like you have a plan to celebrate or you have a plan to do something, but you're still considering gaining more information. You haven't really made a move yet. I feel like that's good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. I don't know what this is, but this could be anything. Um, some type of party, vacation. Maybe to rejoin with the lover. To What is the lovers? A strong connection. The sun. A Leo? Really? A Leo, okay, yeah. But some, it, it doesn't have to be a Leo. You yeah, the Ten of Wands. I'm just seeing um, something that makes you really happy here. What is this Sun and the Lovers for Taurus? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, something you're trying to rush towards. The Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles. There you are. Um, yeah, you're trying to rush towards something. I'm getting rushing is not your forte. Yeah. And then forte in music is sped up. Something seems to be way too fast for you, Taurus. I don't know why this is showing up here. Okay, so what's the six of pentacles, nine of pentacles? The Four of Swords, yeah. Keep your stability, keep your um, level head about something. Spirit is like urging you right now to just kind of stay put. Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Um, Oh my God, the lovers again, two of cups. There could be a lover here that's gonna help you out. A, a person, a relationship, a Gemini. You have the lovers twice. A lot of, I'm getting protection with the lovers card. 
from an individual. I feel like there's an individual here who's going to protect you, going to be there for you. The death card could be a Scorpio. Something is transforming. What's the death card for Taurus? The three of pentacles. Yeah, it's like um, your work could be transforming here. The way you speak to this individual, the way you guys communicate. Yeah, the four of wands. A relationship is completely changing here, okay? You don't have to rush. You don't have to do much. Let's get um, some of these skin in the scene cards. Yeah, the six of cups. Somebody is definitely, yeah, the higher font. Somebody's committed to you or um, there's a strong connection here. All right, give me some skin in the seam cards, okay? What's going on here with Taurus? Okay, we have bad habits and marry me. They both came up reversed. So I'm getting, yeah, exactly. Okay, so somebody does not need to uh, stay committed to a bad habit or fast living. You know, bad habit here looks, it's like somebody in a club partying, doing the most, right? Somebody was committed to that, marry me, but they're both showing up reverse. I feel like somebody is committing, is not committing to their bad habits or like I was saying, fast money or a change, just some type of new direction that you were wanting to go in. Sorry, is not taking that option. Yeah, that's too much, but we have, um, they all showed up reverse like that. I'm gonna turn these over. Parents, divorce, found for divorce, checking on you, reaching out and starting a family. Somebody that, so, somebody that you were once, um, energetically divorced to <laughs> is going to be checking on you reaching out to you they want to you know start a family again or start this relationship over again okay any advice for tours here any advice for tours Losing patience, single woman reversed. So I'm getting time is up on you being single or you being, you know, alone. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, you know, the, the clock is slowly closing on like you feeling alone. Also, the clock is slowly closing on you being happily single. Like somebody is about to start feeling like they want a family or they want to lock down a relationship. Like somebody, um, this could also be, you know, friends. You know, maybe you have been on your own for a while and you're, you're as soon as you're going to start feeling this need to commit or this need to have security, this need to have, you know, family around you or something like that. I'm hearing divinely guided. I feel like this is a part, you know, this that those feelings are just or those feelings are right on time. We have wishbone and observation aura. Yeah, so I see you like moving forward, finding uh what it is you wish for. And then we have footprints direction. Yeah, it's like you're moving in the right direction, but I see you, you have this wish as you're walking. It's all over your aura, it's all over your energy. Um, you're gonna have somebody walking with you. Yeah, we have precision. Something is right on time. Something is about to be like a part of I'm hearing numeratically, but that's not even a word. Like, it's just like 
it just is what it is like it's a part of whatever is going on in your life it's a part of your destiny it's not even like destiny it's like it's a a reaction to other things in your life okay it's like the law of um is just you know for one for one action creates another action okay somebody could be studying comedic knowledge so because you're studying this you're attracting other people who learns this or something it's like you know something that you're doing is about to create a reaction okay that's what I have for you, Taurus. If you want a personal reading, you can email me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.